This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. To date, we've not really created a naming convention as such for our variables, more a system of using camel case to name them, avoiding spaces, and certainly shying away from the underscore character. There is, however, a pretty constant naming convention when it comes to variables in VBA, and you'll see this if you start to look at other people's code. When you declare a variable, it's quite easy to see what data type it is. If we go dim my number as integer, you know at that point it's an integer and you can place integer values into that variable. However, once the program starts to become quite big and lengthy and spread out, when you see the assignment value here, my number equals 52, you haven't really got much of a clue as to the data type of my number. So a pretty constant convention for variables when you name them is to use what's called a tag that refers to the data type. For example, here where I've done dim my number as integer, what I really ought to have done is dim int number as integer. That way, if I ever see it somewhere in the middle of a bit of code, and it goes int number equals 52, I know that the data type of that variable is an integer. Now these tags are always three letters and effectively are abbreviations of the data types that are available. So the most common ones are str for string. So str my name as string, that when I see that, I know that it's a string value and that's the kind of value I should be assigning to it. String name equals guy v. So again, because I know it's now a string value, I know I've got to put those speech marks. Date time is DTR. That's the clever three letter abbreviation there. DTR DOV as date. So then when I see that as DTR DOV, I know it's taking dates. So again, we need the speech marks. November 4th, 1976. The other common abbreviations are BYT for a byte, CUR for currency, DBL for double, INT we've seen, LNG for long integer, for really big integers, SNG for single, so the data type single, BLN for boolean, SDR we've seen as a common one, and then VAR for the variant type. So each of these tags would prefix whatever you wanted to call the variable name. And then when you see the assignments throughout a program, you can figure out what data type that is without having to read back through the program to find out where it's been declared and what data type it is. Because while you're close to the declaration, it's very easy. But once you're buried deep inside some code and a few loops, it can become quite hard to spot what data should be being passed into a particular variable. And there's nothing to force you to use any of these tags. These are just the common tags that are used by VBA programmers throughout the world. And if you start to look at sample code or pick up code from the internet or from other people or from other applications, you'll see that most people are sticking to these conventions. Throughout the rest of the title, you'll see that we stick to these tag conventions. So they're all lowercase and they're effectively tagged on to the front of whatever you would like to use as the variable name. That way you can spot the data type without having to find the initial declaration.